Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial for developing the KPIs. So let's see in this video how we can work in developing the KPIs which is nothing but mentioned in the chart section as the scorecard. So KPIs is nothing but key performance indicator as you would be aware that these are helpful in indicating where the key metric is. So for example, where is the sales, where is the profit or on an average how much discount we are giving at a high level is something which is sort of a key performance indicator which every manager would like to track for their respective department. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, choose one KPI. So here we have two options, scorecard and compact scorecard. The only difference is that uh, in case of 1168, it will show you 1.1k or 1.2k. So it will have just a compact number. So let's click it over here. And what I'll do is uh, drop it on here so that uh, because it takes a very less size as you can see and uh, by default it shows the name of the KPI which is profit and then uh, what is the value so right now it's the entire data set uh, that it is taking and that's why the profit is coming as the 1.5 million now it's up to us whether we want profit or we want someone else uh, something else like sales or anything so for example if i want to change from sum of profit to sales i will choose the sales over here so now I have the 14.9 million as a sales value and as an exercise what you can do is you can create uh, one more or two more KPIs for all the different uh, measures that we have. So for example we have sales, we have discount which you should take as an average discount, then you have quantity again you need to take average quantity, similarly product based margin, the average product based margin, profit up to you, you want some or average. Of the profit so you can create uh, all of these KPIs side by side if you are following this document and this way you will be able to practice it so that's the minimum setting that you need to do to create the KPIs and then you have the option of specifying the date range and doing a comparison like uh, whether the sale is going up or down as compared to the uh, previous year so for example let's say if we select uh, 2011 as a year from the custom range then uh, compared to the 2011 whether the sale is up or down uh, when you compare it with the 2010. So you can do all of that comparison and choose the uh, green or red indicator and then you have the option of adding the filter whether uh, you want some predefined filter for example if you are creating a specific product dashboard and for example the technology dashboard then you can specify the product filter as technology which I have explained to you in the one of the previous videos as well that how to apply this uh, additional filters. So that's minimum what you need uh, for creating the KPI for the purpose of displaying it at the either at the top of the dashboard or on the right hand side or on the left hand side so generally it's a choice which uh, your either end user dictate or your company uh, wide uh, dashboard themes dictates that this is a structure that you need to follow and accordingly you can just drag it wherever you want and then place it for your end user needs.